Hi, this is Brian Lazar with your weekly update from the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Uh, here you can see our homepage and you can see we've got some areas of moderate danger which extend from the front range zone down through the central mountains all the way down to the Gunnison zone and a little bit down in the South San Juans and all of these green polygons are indicating areas of low danger. So essentially we had a little bit of a change in the weather this week which was uh, welcome news. We saw some snowfall in the middle of the week and then we saw a little bit of snowfall uh, just Wednesday night in, into Thursday. Um, and that did exacerbate the avalanche hazard just a little bit in areas that picked up more than about five or eight inches of storm snow throughout those two stormy periods. Uh, we saw a lot of drifting snow on Tuesday and with a little bit of snow on Tuesday night and into Wednesday, we can expect new freshly formed wind drifted slabs, particularly at the upper elevations. So if we click on uh, just the Aspen zone as an illustrative example, you'll see what we're talking about here. Um, so the Aspen zone picked up anywhere from you know four to seven inches yesterday. So we're looking at these same problematic areas. We've got uh, above treeline slopes at base north, northeast and east, and we are drifting snow onto those same problematic areas. So the real short story is that the same places that we've been talking about being able to trigger avalanches have become a little bit more problematic, but a little bit more so with the new drifted snow. Any avalanches you can trigger are gonna be a little bit bigger um, just because of the new drifted snow, and they have the potential to gouge down into that weak snow that fell um, early in the season. So these are avalanches that are going to be big enough to knock somebody off their feet, drag you through rocks, or even bury you in a terrain trap. So we really want to be looking for kind of these stiffer slabs of snow um, that form from the wind. You can often see these in the field by looking for kind of uh, big pillows of snow, stiff, firm snow that supports your weight. And if you see any shooting cracks in the surface snow or hear audible woofing noises, these are clear signs that you've kind of encountered this dangerous snowpack. So it's good to see this uh, fresh snow come in. Uh, we're still a little bit behind of where we'd like to be in terms of uh, our long-term median snowpack. And what we can expect for conditions going forward into the weekend is a little bit more drifting snow today. We're gonna keep those areas with moderate danger at moderate danger above tree line as we move into the Thanksgiving holiday. And then we'll gradually ease off again as we get into the weekend because we're looking at an extended dry period ahead of us. So um, after the snow last night, we're looking at at least a week or a week and a half before uh, new snow looks like it's hopefully gonna arrive in the early part of December. So this means gradually easing um, avalanche danger. And we will likely get back to low danger across most of the state before our next snowfall arrives. For the long term, this means our, the snowpack that is on the ground is going to continue to weaken. Um, so all that means a decrease in avalanche danger in the near term. As soon as new snowfall arrives and uh, loads those weak wires, we're going to see a quick uptick in avalanche danger. But we're looking at slowly, gradually diminishing avalanche danger as we move past the Thanksgiving holiday and into next week. So to stay up to date on every day's avalanche forecast, make sure to check colorado.gov slash avalanche or the CEIC um, mobile phone application on your smartphone. I want everyone to have a great holiday and a safe weekend. Uh, please tune in next week.